Batman pursues a serial killer with the assistance of police officer James Gordon and attorney Harvey Dent. But when the killer takes on the criminal family of the Falcones, Harvey Dent gets caught between the fronts. Welcome back movie watchers. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Batman The Long Halloween Part 2 is finally here. The end to one of the best Batman stories in my opinion. I finally finished reading the story and I really did enjoy it. So I was really looking forward to see what they would do with part two. Part two just expands on the first part and really focuses a lot on the characters. And by focusing on the characters of Batman and Harvey Dent and Commissioner James Gordon and the Falcone family, you really be able to get the sense that this holiday killer will stop at nothing. And every single new holiday, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Mother's Day, April Fool's, Gotham City, Batman, Commissioner Gordon, everybody dreads an upcoming holiday. And that's what I loved about part two is that you get that continuation of that dread and that sense. And the killer is still out there. And it's a very important case for Batman to solve. What I like about part two also is that it's Focus more on like detective work. A lot of Batman stories are like just big action stories. This is a story that's written as an earlier time in Batman's career when he was really focused as a detective. And I love the amount of effort going into it to have him solve this case. Questioning people, going undercover, whatever it may be to really get involved with it. I really did enjoy that aspect. There's also a lot more of the Falcone family and the Moroni family and the conflict between them two and how do they play into the story and the holiday killer as well. We really do expand on the family, introducing new characters from the first story and how important they do play within the overall part two. The voice acting, once again, is really good. Jensen Eccles as Batman, love it. But a standout for me is Josh Dumal as Harvey Dent. We see in the poster, we see in the trailer, the Blu-ray cover turns into Two-Face within this movie. So he has to provide that really gruff style of voice acting for Two-Face, and I think he does it really good. I think Two-Face is a really intriguing Batman villain. I like him as Harvey Dent, and I really like that transition into Two-Face, and I think they handled it really well in here, because you really kind of love the guy in the first part, and then also in the second part, part of him as just Harvey Dent. And then we see him transition into Two-Face. It's something that just hits really hard, and you see his complete, you see a complete different character within Harvey Dent, and it's something really intriguing. We do get a lot more Batman villains this time around, like Mad Hatter and Solomon Grundy and Scarecrow. More of Catwoman in here. We also get Poison Ivy, a little bit of the Joker. As the story is progressing, there is that more sense of urgency, and more Batman villains are entering the fold into the story, which makes Batman's case with the Holiday Killer even more important because a lot more is at stake now when you do have Poison Ivy and the Falcone family, the Moroni family, and the Mad Hatter and Scarecrow. All these characters are creating havoc in Gotham and it's up to Batman and Commissioner Gordon to save the day. I thought Batman The Long Halloween Part 2 was a nice end to the story. I really do enjoy the story and I did enjoy reading the story. And I thought that they handled the urgency surrounding the holiday killer a lot of great reveals the conflict between the families harvey dent's transition into two-face was handled very well i loved watching this i think i think it's going to be a great binge for the first and second part if you do it really quick and but with, but with focusing a lot more on the characters you're able to have some sympathy for the characters 
and there's a lot that has to do with the past with Thomas Wayne as well. Really focusing on those characters, buckling down on that. The story is able to benefit from that and being really tense and watching the characters kind of navigate throughout the story and relationships and big reveals is something definitely worth watching. Batman pursues a serial killer with the assistance of police officer James Gordon and attorney Harvey Dent, but when the killer takes on the criminal family of the Falcones, Harvey Dent gets caught between the fronts. Welcome back movie watchers, thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Batman The Long Halloween Part 2 is finally here, the end to one of the best Batman stories in my opinion. I finally finished reading the story and I really did enjoy it.